right, so in this video, we are going to practice adding a customer type and running the report. Now, the exercise is going to be over here on the right hand side. This is part of the basic level Pro Advisor certification course. If you would like more information about that course after we've done the exercise, there is a link below in the description. Go ahead and click on that. But let's get into our exercise and see what we're doing today. Craig has decided to consider some of his clients' VIPs. That way, he can offer them special discounts in the future if he wants to. He already knows that Amy's Bird Sanctuary is a VIP, and he will decide the others later. So how can we set this up for him? Let's see. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up over here on the left-hand side. This is the dashboard. Now let's get started with the exercise. From the left navigation bar, we're gonna hover over sales and then click on customers. Now here's that left navigation bar. Here is sales, hover over that and then select customers. Now to create that customer type, first we need to set up VIP customer type. So to do that, we want to click on customer types right here. And then we're going to create a new one by clicking on new customer type. That is right here. We're going to name this VIP. So in the box right here, go ahead and type VIP and then go ahead and click on save. And now that one has been created and you can see it right here. So now let's go ahead and assign this customer type to Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Let's go back to the customer list, clicking on customers up here. And then we want to click on Amy's Bird Sanctuary so that we can pull up her customer file. We're going to click on Edit to open up Amy's record uh, for editing. If you get any pop-ups, feel free to click out of those. QBO is just trying to be extra helpful. So click on the Edit button right here. We're gonna scroll down to the Additional Info section, then in the Customer Type field, uh, select VIP. So here are the headings. We want to go to the Additional Info. So that's towards the bottom, um, right here. Here is that Customer Type. Go ahead and click on that down arrow to expand it, and then you can click on VIP. Uh, now that it has been assigned, go ahead and click on Save. That's the green button right there. And now we have identified Amy's Bird Sanctuary as a VIP. But let's see what this looks like on a report. From the left navigation bar, let's go ahead and click on Reports. That again is on the left-hand side. Here is Reports. Click on that to get to that uh, the reporting center. Now let's go ahead and find this uh, particular report. In the search bar, this find report by name field, we're going to begin typing in customer type so that we can click on sales by customer type detail. So click into it and type in customer type. And there is that sales by customer type detail. Go ahead and click on that. If you have trouble for whatever reason getting this report from the search bar, this is part of the sales and customers section. So you can always scroll all the way down until you get to it right uh, right there. There it is right there. Um, so go ahead and click on the report either from the search bar or if you would scroll down. If you get any pop-ups, just go ahead and click out of them. Now to um, change the date so that we can see the um, information here, we're going to click on the date range selection field and select this month to date. So go ahead and click on this one right here and then we're going to select uh, this year. So let's scroll down until we find this year. Go ahead and click on that. Now, depending on when you are running this report in the sample company, you may need to select a different date range to get as much data as possible um, in this report. Now, for me, I am doing this exercise and I'm recording this video at the very beginning of 2024. And so there's not going to be much data here. So I'm going to change this now to all dates. So go ahead and click on that down arrow and then select all dates if this is something that you are 
are also seeing. If it's towards like the middle or the end of the year, you should, after uh, selecting this year, be able to see all the data that I have pulled up right here. But if not, just go ahead and change that date range to all dates. Now the first group will be sales with no customer type selected. As you can see right here, there's just a little line because there is no customer type selected. This was previously referred to as not specified on reports. Just as a little aside here, QBO or Intuit is changing over the format of all of their reports. They have changed it now to what is called a modern view versus the classic view. So some of the terminology that you may have known from the classic view is not necessarily going to be the same terminology in the modern view. So just know that it used to be called not specified on reports. Right now, it's not showing us anything. We're going to click on the down arrow right next to this 63 um, uh, so that we can collapse the group. Go ahead and do that. And when you do that, now you can see that there is um, their arrow is already open for me. If it's not, you can just click on the arrow to expand that drop down. But now you can see all of the VIP transactions showing here on the report. Now, if you liked this exercise and you would like to do more like this, or you want more information about that basic level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description. You'll get all the information you need right there. And that's it for us today. Um, and I will see you in the next exercise. Exercise.